We've done honey chicken on the channel and it's absolutely delicious, as well as the lemon chicken, but why not make orange chicken and find out which one is better? The prep is really simple for this. On your left, we have three cloves of garlic and 10 grams of ginger. This is going to be for the rice. And on your right is four cloves of garlic and 15 grams of ginger, which is going to be used for the orange chicken. Both of these can then be ran along a microplane to create pastes. And I recommend putting the two separate amounts in bowls just so you don't get them mixed up. The next ingredients are two oranges. We are only going to be using one and a half of these, but with one whole orange, run it along a microplane to get the zest out of it. And this is going to create a beautiful infusion within our sauce. With that done, these can then be sliced in half, and like I said, we're only using one and a half, so you can eat the other or save it and use it in a drink. We do only need half a cup or 125 milliliters worth of juice, so you can use a handheld citrus juicer like what I'm using here, use an electric one, or just squeeze it by hand. 15 grams of coriander or cilantro is going to be used in the rice. This can just be given a rough chop. It really doesn't have to be super fine. All you need is something that looks like this. Now into a bowl, add in the large amount of garlic and ginger paste as well as the orange zest. We're also going to add in 80 milliliters of light soy sauce and 100 grams of honey. And this is going to create a beautiful blend of savory and sweet flavors. 50 milliliters of rice wine vinegar or regular white vinegar if you can't consume alcohol for a little bit of acidity. The orange juice that we did before for even more sweetness. 17 grams of corn flour, which is the thickening agent to help our sauce coat our chicken really well. Season to taste with sea salt flakes and of course, cracked black pepper. 20 cracks worth. Give this a quick mix with a whisk just until everything's combined, making sure to break up that garlic and ginger paste as well as the orange zest. And then once that's done, just pop this aside. Last but not least with the prep is one kilo of chicken thigh. This is boneless and skinless. And what we wanna do with this is slice it into thirds or quarters depending on size, and then slice it through the center to create diced pieces that are even in size so that they cook evenly. You can also use chicken breast, which I'll leave details about in the description. But with that done, transfer this over to a large mixing bowl, then add in five grams of onion powder for a nice concentrated flavor, a generous pinch of sea salt flakes, and of course, cracked black pepper. 20 cracks worth. I am also going to loop this up with a little bit of olive oil just to help everything stick. Then get your clean hands in there or use a spoon or tongs and mix to combine until everything is evenly coated in that seasoning. Now we're doing the rice a little bit differently in this one. Place a saucepan over a high heat, add in 20 milliliters of olive oil as well as the garlic and ginger paste, which is the smaller amount, and then just saute this for 45 seconds just so it can release its fragrance. Also concentrating on breaking it up. Follow that up with 320 grams of long grain rice, as well as 625 milliliters of chicken stock, which is going to give us a beautiful depth in flavor, sea salt flakes to taste, then get in there and mix to combine, breaking up that garlic and ginger paste a little bit more and ensuring that there's no clumps in the rice. And then we can bring this to a boil. With it at a boil, place on a lid, then reduce the heat to low. And I'm actually going to transfer it over to a different part of the stovetop and then cook this for 12 minutes undisturbed. After 12 minutes, take it off the heat and let it rest for 10 minutes with the lid on. Then remove the lid and we're going to add in that coriander that we cut up before and then just mix this to combine just to leave us with this soft, beautiful, fluffy coriander and ginger rice. As per usual, I have also included the macro nutrition cards. This has 283 calories, 4 grams of fat, 54 grams of carbs and 7 grams of protein. Now with the rice out of the way, place a large high rimmed pan or pot over a high heat. Add in 40 milliliters of olive oil. Then we're going to add in that seasoned chicken. Spread it out evenly so it's all sitting on the surface of the pan. And then we're going to cook this for three minutes without touching it. This is going to get us a nice golden brown sear all over. After three minutes, let's get in there and give this a mix around and you'll start to see that nice golden sear on the chicken. We're then going to do the exact same thing again and cook for another three minutes undisturbed. Also, if your pan's not on the larger side, I recommend doing this in batches just so the chicken doesn't steam, which also won't allow it to cook evenly. Okay, so this has now been six minutes. The chicken's starting to get some nice golden color all over. We're going to finish cooking this for six more minutes, but this time you don't have to leave it. We're going to mix it regularly just until that chicken is cooked all the way through. This has now been 12 minutes. The chicken is nice and golden brown all over and it is fully cooked through. If you are unsure, you can double check by slicing a piece in half, but you don't need to because the timings are right on this recipe. The next thing to go in is the sauce. Just give it a quick whisk before you add it back in just to break up that corn flour because it could sit at the bottom. Then we're going to bring the sauce to a boil whilst mixing and only cook this for two minutes. This will thicken up quite quickly and coat that chicken really well. There isn't really anything else you need to do to this apart from adding a few sesame seeds in if you want to, which I'm doing here. It is just a small amount. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you do add them in, just give them a quick mix through just until everything is evenly combined and this can then be removed from the stovetop. We then have 383 calories, 13 grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs and 41 grams of protein. 
Serving up is super simple with these recipes, just divide the rice by five. I have included the weights in those macro cards earlier on in the video. And we're also going to add in the chicken as well as the sauce. And you might have a little bit of leftover sauce, so just make sure to distribute that between the five containers. I did put white sesame seeds in the mix, but I am going to garnish this with some black sesame seeds, which is completely optional. And another optional topping is some spring onion or scallion, which obviously I didn't show in the prep. But with all of that done, we're then left with these absolutely delicious orange chickens and that coriander ginger rice. And that rice is absolutely fantastic, by the way. It's not just good for this recipe. You can use it for pretty much anything else. As for storage, allow them to cool down slightly before placing on the lids, and obviously these are the Lavelli containers which are pretty airtight, but use whatever containers you have. And I'm using the vacuum seal pump, which will extend the life of these by an extra day, and these will last up to 4 days in the fridge and 4 months in the freezer, or if they're vacuum seal pump, they'll last an extra day and an extra month. As for reheating, you can place them in a pan and do it that way, or you can just place it in a microwave, just do whatever's easiest for you, just until they're hot in the center. And this right here is the macros and nutrients for the complete dish with everything together. The last step, which is the most important, is to make it all worthwhile. And that is, we can then dig in. I know you guys love the honey chicken and the lemon chicken, but that one slaps all over it. It tastes absolutely incredible. There's so much flavor in there and it's actually not too sweet, which you wouldn't expect because obviously there's quite a bit of honey and that orange juice as well, but it mellows down and turns into that savory sweet, but it's not too much and it's the perfect balance. Really recommend you try this recipe. It is an absolutely fantastic meal to get you set up for the week. Thanks for watching.